because this is going to be your favorite book show. Why? Because we are going to be covering everything about books. I hope you do enjoy. <laughs> audiobooks and the way that I'm wearing them, it means it must uh, say to the people that are like, going to be listening to what I'm saying, this is for everyone. You don't have to be a particular, in a particular field to like and love books. Books grow everyone. There are people who never went to school, but they still, like, when you read a book, Two minutes is where I cover the favorite books that I've read, and it's where I cover my favorite authors. Because everyone can relate to his story. Like, if you read Trevor Noah's book, everyone relates to the book, especially if you're South African, especially if you're staying in the Jobbeck. Because each and everything that he's speaking of there, you know, he speaks of uh, your Sentin, your Orlando, Somento, those are the spaces that we all know that. Yes, it's Chimamanda. Chimamanda was the teacher. So, okay, I've got the favorite. So, I have the favorite uh, authors. It will have to be Chimamanda. She writes so beautifully. And I like the fact that he's, she's African. She covers everything. Even if you have never been to Nigeria, you are able to get a feel and idea of what she's talking about. And then there's Nizi Dangarabe. My personal favorite uh, right, uh, book that she wrote will have to be uh, these books will live again. It's more like she's talking about Zimbabwe, how broken it is, and how the hope that she has that Zimbabwe is going to be okay again. And then, as for Chimamanda, my favorite book that she has wrote, I like everything that she has wrote. However, my favorite is Americano and How to Raise a Feminist. The one book that I could not even want. I didn't want to start reading. So in your idea, when you see the topic, you don't have a kid, so you are like, there's no need for me to, to read this one. However, when you get to read it, you can also learn more about it because it does not really say to raise a child, you need A, B, C, D, and E. No, it's, it's talking about the things that are happening around us and how we should, if you are a child, like if you have a child, how to talk to your kid about those kind of things that are happening around them and how best to say them. Even for yourself, you are able to learn more and new things. As they say, people grow every day, so that is like my book right here. And then people probably in Baskers. I really got hurt when I read that book. Because at the end, someone that I really liked died. Anyways, I like it. <laughs> love, I love the book. Yeah. So internationally, let me check. My favorite writer, I like spiritual books that, okay, books that are going to be growing to spiritually. I love them. So there's a book that I've been reading this year. I, I can't put it down. I keep going back to it. It's written by Greg McCone. Oh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's Greg McCone. So the book is about essentialism. Essentialism. Thank you. So this book is totally telling you how to grow as a person, how to lose things and still be okay. So in order for a person to grow, they need to lose a lot of things and focus on romantic. Focusing your energy on everything sometimes does not really work. You end up losing everything. Hence they say, uh, what's the saying? Let's see. What is the saying? Jack of all trades, but master of none. Yeah, so that book talks about that. If you if you if you doing everything at the same time, you're not going to master everything, anything in fact. So that's why I love it. 